Welcome to part two of our Q&A session on exfoliative cheilitis, where we address common questions and concerns about this condition. Why are my lips yellowish in color now? If you are suffering from exfoliative cheilitis and your lips have turned yellow, it could be due to a number of reasons. Here are a few possible explanations. Fungal or bacterial infection. In some cases, exfoliative cheilitis can be caused by a fungal or bacterial infection. Infections can cause the skin on the lips to become discolored, giving them a yellowish tint. Vitamin deficiency. Certain vitamin deficiencies, such as vitamin B12 deficiency, can cause yellowing of the skin, including the lips. This is because vitamin B12 is essential for the production of red blood cells, and a deficiency can lead to a condition called pernicious anemia, which can cause yellowing of the skin. Use of certain medications. Certain medications, such as tetracycline antibiotics, can cause yellowing of the skin and lips as a side effect. What are the most common bacteria and fungi that contribute to exfoliative cheilitis? Some of the common bacteria and fungi that can be involved in exfoliative cheilitis include Candida albicans. Candida albicans is a type of yeast that is commonly found in the mouth and digestive tract. Overgrowth of this yeast can cause an infection called oral thrush, which can affect the lips and cause exfoliative chylitis. Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus is a type of bacteria that is commonly found on the skin and in the nose. Infection with this bacteria can cause a condition called impetigo, which can affect the lips and cause exfoliative chylitis. Streptococcus pyogenes. Streptococcus pyogenes is a type of bacteria that can cause strep throat and other infections. Infection with this bacteria can also affect the lips and cause exfoliative cheilitis. Malassezia furfur. Malassezia furfur is a type of yeast that is commonly found on the skin. Overgrowth of this yeast can cause a condition called seborrheic dermatitis, which can affect the lips and cause exfoliative cheilitis. Aspergillus fumigatus. Aspergillus fumigatus is a type of fungus that is commonly found in the environment, such as in soil and decaying plant material. Infection with this fungus can cause a condition called aspergillosis, which can affect the lips and cause exfoliative chylitis. Is exfoliative chylitis tied to gut complications? There is some evidence to suggest that exfoliative chylitis may be associated with gut complications. This is due to the fact that the gut and skin are connected through the gut-skin axis, which involves a complex interplay between the microbiota, immune system, and neuroendocrine system. Studies have found that some individuals with exfoliative cheilitis have alterations in their gut microbiota, including a decrease in beneficial bacteria and an increase in harmful bacteria. This imbalance in the gut microbiota leads to increased intestinal permeability and inflammation, which may contribute to the development of exfoliative cheilitis. Additionally, gut inflammation and immune dysregulation can also lead to systemic inflammation, which may exacerbate skin conditions such as exfoliative cheilitis. Chronic gut inflammation has been linked to a range of skin conditions, including psoriasis, atopic dermatitis, and acne. Furthermore, stress and anxiety, which are known triggers of exfoliative cheilitis, also affect gut health. Stress and anxiety disrupt the gut microbiota and increase gut permeability, leading to inflammation and immune dysregulation. How well does laser therapy work to treat exfoliative cheilitis? Laser therapy is a treatment option that has been used to manage exfoliative cheilitis. However, the efficacy of laser therapy in treating exfoliative cheilitis is not well established, and there is limited research on its use for this condition. There are different types of laser therapy, including CO2 laser therapy, EAR YAG laser therapy, and end YAG laser therapy, among others. These lasers work by delivering energy to the skin, causing it to heat up and vaporize. The heat generated by the laser can help to stimulate collagen production and promote skin healing. While laser therapy may be a treatment option for exfoliative chylitis, it is not considered a first-line treatment and other options should be explored before considering laser therapy. Here are some reasons why. Limited research. The efficacy of laser therapy for exfoliative chylitis is not well established and there is limited research on its use for this condition. This means that the benefits of laser therapy may not outweigh the risks and costs. Potential side effects. Laser therapy can cause side effects such as redness, swelling, scarring, and changes in skin pigmentation. These side effects can be more pronounced in individuals with darker skin tones. 
Additionally, laser therapy can be painful and anesthesia may be required, increasing the risk of complications. High cost. Laser therapy can be expensive and may not be covered by insurance, making it a less accessible option for some individuals. Other effective treatments. There are other effective treatments for exfoliative chiaelitis, such as topical medications, lifestyle modifications, and prescription medications, which may be more accessible and affordable than laser therapy. In general, it is advisable to explore other treatment options before considering laser therapy for exfoliative chiaelitis. If other treatments are ineffective, laser therapy may be considered, but the risks and benefits should be carefully weighed and the procedure should be performed by a qualified healthcare professional. I discovered that when I exfoliate the dead skin layers, my lips smell awful. What could be the cause of the bad smell? The buildup of dead skin cells on the lips is a common symptom of this condition, and in some cases, it can result in an unpleasant odor. The bad smell associated with exfoliative chiaelitis is often caused by the accumulation of bacteria and fungi on the surface of the lips. When dead skin cells build up on the lips, they create a warm, moist environment that is ideal for the growth of microorganisms. Bacteria and fungi that commonly colonize the lips include Staphylococcus aureus, Candida albicans, and Malassezia furfur. These microorganisms can produce volatile organic compounds, VOCs, that can cause bad breath and an unpleasant odor. In addition to the buildup of bacteria and fungi, other factors that can contribute to the bad smell associated with exfoliative chelitis include poor oral hygiene, smoking, and certain foods and beverages. To help manage the bad smell associated with exfoliative chelitis, it is important to practice good oral hygiene, including regular brushing and flossing of the teeth and tongue. Using a gentle exfoliant procedure on the lips to remove dead skin cells can also help reduce the buildup of microorganisms.